Including Stylet Oil in your crop management rotation is an environmentally safe and effective way to protect your grapes against mite infestation. So be sure to visit www.styletoil.com today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the Tri-County Walnut Day held by the UC Cooperative Extension here in Visalia. And I'm here with Themis Michaelitis, one of the speakers who addressed Botrysferia and Phomopsis in the orchard. And although we're grateful for all the rain that we've been receiving so far this season, it will have an impact on Botrysferia and Phomopsis in the orchard. And here's Themis to give some tips and advice on what growers to look for. After a long uh, uh, drought uh, period lately in 2016, we had a lot of rains and also now in January of 2017, we continue with rains and uh, this is a very wet, uh, it seems to be a very wet year and uh, this uh, wet year uh, really induces uh, some uh, fungal disease and especially one of the diseases in one is the Botrytis and Phomopsis uh, canker blight, uh, because uh, the pathogens uh, that cause this uh, disease produce a lot of spores. The spores depend on the spread by the rainwater, and so we um, are having a, a sleeping dragon in our walnut orchards throughout California, where a lot of uh, uh, spore inoculum is present by these uh, uh, pathogens, and we expect to have more. Uh, but just fear canker and blight in walnuts. Uh, it is fortunate that the uh, uh, California Walnut uh, Board has funded research in the last uh, several years and we have developed uh, a very effective control. We have both uh, chemical control as well as sanitation. Sanitation means uh, removing dead branches and shoots that uh, bear a lot of uh, spore inoculum. And chemical control uh, is using um, effective fungicides. We do have several effective fungicides against this disease. These are listed in the efficacy tables of UC IEPM and every year we update uh, uh, this information there. In 2017, the tables will have the research we completed in 2016. So uh, effective fungicides are the fungicides that combine strobilins and carboxamides, but we do have results uh, against the anthracnose of walnut, which is another fungal disease, and that occurs in different, uh, like, uh, for instance, San Benito County. And uh, in that trial also, uh, to our surprise, we were able to reduce uh, walnut blight for the first time with a combination of a fungicide and a biological. Although this is one first year's result, this is really exciting because if this is uh, uh, this holds for um, the next year or so, uh, we'll have uh, something uh, new to control this uh, difficult disease, the walnut blight, which is a bacterial disease and not uh, uh, the uh, like the Botrysferia uh, blight, which is a fungal disease. Uh, so uh, the growers uh, need to, for the best management of Botrysferia blight they have to follow uh, sanitation and chemical control in order to get the best results uh, in managing this disease. They have to be proactive uh, because this is a, a devastating disease. This is the time in February and uh, March before the buds emerge. They can collect samples, uh, either blighted spurs or buds of the uh, uh, walnut uh, shoots and they can send them to laboratories to determine how much butyrsia and formosa they have. And depending on the percentages of these pathogens, then they can decide uh, how to go uh, about uh, controlling the diseases. Sometimes you have them both, sometimes you have butyrsia only, and sometimes you have formosa only. And there are different fungicides that uh, are effective uh, against uh, formosis. For instance, for formosis, the uh, trisols, uh, the tebuconazole, probiconazole, those fungicides are very, very effective. Uh, so they have to be included in the program when they try to control Botrysferia slash Formopsis canker and blight. Thank you, Themis. Be sure to watch our other video reports from today's uh, Tri-County Walnut Day and read more about it in the coming issue of Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.